I actually genuinely love this hat and I wear this hat all the time, which we will get into in this video because today we are talking about the rise and fall of cool girl activewear brand Outdoor Voices. Outdoor Voices. <laughs> Outdoor Voices was the it girl activewear brand that dominated Instagram feeds in 2018, 2019. That's when I would say it was at its peak. They were known for their minimalist technical aesthetic and their designs were really recognizable for their color blocking, their use of technical and recycled fabrics, and the way that they were marketing was very different to other athletic wear brands. Outdoor Voices was founded in 2013 by the then 25 year old Tyler Haney, more on her later. They started as a direct to consumer brand selling online and they first gained popularity with their OV rec kits. This was a bundle product where you could mix and match a crop top with a pair of leggings made out of their signature tech sweat TM fabric. Outdoor Voices, or OV, opened their first store in Austin, Texas, but they were headquartered in New York until 2016 when Haney moved the headquarters to Austin as well. And the whole cool vibe of the city of Austin, Texas became a part of the brand's identity. The clothing was definitely on the more expensive side. I would say it was comparable to Lululemon prices. And because of the price tag, it was a little bit of a status symbol to be seen walking around town in your Outdoor Voices tech sweat leggings or your OV exercise dress. I swear at the time, like 2019, every single Southern preppy influencer had this Outdoor Voices exercise dress. The whole thing about this dress was it had an inbuilt bra with adjustable straps and inbuilt bike shorts with pockets and the fabric was super high quality and flattering. The whole idea was you were able to do a workout in the dress, like go for a hike, um, exercise in it, and then go straight from the gym to Target or Starbucks and just run errands and you were still wearing a super cute outfit. At the time, I definitely had the tab up on my phone contemplating buying this dress. Anytime a new color would come out, I'd be like, this is the time that I'm finally gonna pull the trigger and buy this dress, but I never did. And I think it's because I had a sneaky suspicion that there is no way that inbuilt bra was ever gonna hold up my bust. Like, <laughs> certainly not for exercise. There's no way on God's green earth it was ever gonna do that. But I was even skeptical about like a target run with that inbuilt bra. The exercise dress being a hybrid of technical apparel, but also a cute aesthetic outfit is a really great example of what Outdoor Voices was doing differently in the athletic wear space compared to their competitors. Other activewear brands, their slogans and taglines are like, just do it, all in or nothing, sweat you pig, <laughs> like really aggressive slogans. Whereas Outdoor Voices tagline was doing things. Hashtag doing things. That's a hashtag, by the way. <laughs> and I actually didn't know this, but doing things is a shortened version of a longer slogan that was doing things is better than not doing things. Thanks, Outdoor Voices. <laughs> the whole idea behind this slogan was you don't have to be at a gym, pushing yourself so hard on the treadmill that you throw up. It's more about just being out there and being active in whatever way that brings you joy, whether that's a hike, whether that's just going on a dog walk. Doing things is better than not doing things. They also pushed heavily on the community thing and held events at their stores. And pushing cynicism aside of the fact that they're a business, they want to make money and they want you to buy their expensive leggings, I do think it is really great that they did put on these community events. They had jogging clubs, they would do yoga and Pilates classes on the lawn outside of the Nashville store, they would do dog walking groups, stroller rollers, and they called this their community of recreationalists. And you could even get a bright blue Outdoor Voices hat with recreationalists across the front of it. Just a signal to other people on the street that you were a recreationalist. <laughs> Outdoor Voices leaned really heavily into Instagram marketing. Ty Haney said that every customer is an influencer and that they were really into UCG or user generated content. You or I could go and buy ourselves an exercise dress and take a cute picture in it, pop it on Instagram with the hashtag doing things and that was a really effective marketing strategy for them. Like 
you know, the consumers market the products for them. And let me tell you, it was certainly working with that exercise dress around 2018-19, like that, that UCG was on my Instagram feed at the time. Their photo shoots and campaigns were also very recognizable for their fun, outdoorsy and retro vibes. They use plus size models, uh, people of color, people of different faiths, uh, models with disabilities and all these models were just outdoors together on a hike having fun so the vibes were very like chill and welcoming now let's talk about tyler haney the founder of outdoor voices haney grew up in boulder colorado as a hippie mountain girl who was always into sports she started her business after attending parsons school of design in new york and in a 2015 article, she said, I've been wearing Nike all my life, but I kind of got sick of this black and neon proliferation. I realized that there was a larger opportunity in the market to counteract that harder, faster, stronger outlook, and instead approach activity from a much more lighthearted and socially delightful kind of way. Ty Haney had, and still has, quite a large following on social media. At the time that Outdoor Voices was growing, she posted a good mix of personal lifestyle content and also behind the scenes looks at what was going on at Outdoor Voices. So she was simultaneously marketing herself as this cool it girl, whilst also conveniently marketing her brand. A lot of the Outdoor Voices story really focuses on her as a founder, as a young female entrepreneur. I mean, she was only 25 when she started the business. She's a very impressive person. So she did and actually still does lots of speaking events and interviews about how she created this startup darling, how she used Instagram as a marketing tool. I also have to talk about Ty Haney's now husband, Mark Weistrach, because he doesn't directly have anything to do with outdoor voices, but he also kind of does. If you don't know who he is, he is the lead singer of a country music band called Midland. And if we rewind ourselves back to 2018, Midland was this new country music band on the scene. Everybody was talking about them because at the time, like bro country, boyfriend country with all the snaps in it was super popular. And here was this like cool 70s nostalgic neo country band from Texas and they were wearing nudie suits. So you have this male model actor turned country music star who meets Ty Haney, who is also hot and has her own activewear brand. And together they become this insanely attractive, inherently cool couple from Austin, Texas. The aura surrounding them as a couple in like 2018 was just unmatched. You had Tyler Haney backstage of the CMAs with her Outdoor Voices tote bag. And then you had Mark um, joining the Outdoor Voices jogging club with the rest of the Midland band. I personally feel like it definitely contributed to Outdoor Voices being at its peak level of coolness. By 2019, in the five years since Outdoor Voices had started, they had raised $50 million in funding and they had opened nine stores across the US. In 2017, Mickey Drexler, who was the former CEO of J.Crew and former CEO of Gap, joined Outdoor Voices as an investor and chairman. So they've got this retail legend on board. There's all this buzz around the brand. Everything is looking great from the outside but internally they were a complete mess. In February, 2020, Ty Haney abruptly stepped down as CEO and left the company. She has come out and said that she was pushed out of the company. A month later in March, 2020, the New York Times published the article, How Outdoor Voices, a Startup Darling, imploded. In the article, Ty Haney was accused of being spoiled and mercurial and the cause of several experienced executives resigning from the company. It was reported that she had been butting heads with Mickey Drexler, the J. Crew Gap guy, saying that he was old and out of touch, and then he heard her badmouthing him, so he started badmouthing her to other professional colleagues, and yeah, it was a mess. <laughs> it was claimed that there was a lack of diversity in corporate behind the scenes, so all of that inclusive marketing was just for show, and that the business was bleeding money. The company was spending about $36,000 a year on bottled water, $22,000 a year on candles, and $45,000 a year on floral arrangements. 
They had $3 million of excess fabric rotting in storage, and photo shoots would cost anywhere from $50,000 to $100,000 each. It's a long article and I'm not going to go into every single thing said in it, so I will leave the link in the description box if you'd like to read the whole thing. Because of all this, Haney was ousted. I do think it's a little shady that she was ousted whilst on maternity leave. She went a bit under the radar about leaving Outdoor Voices for a couple of years. She would just put up cryptic Instagram posts sometimes alluding to her departure. But then in 2023, she started getting quite vocal, actually commenting on some of the official Outdoor Voices Instagram posts. And she wasn't the only one that had noticed that Outdoor Voices had taken a nosedive. There have been many posts on the Outdoor Voices subreddit discussing a decline in quality, sizing issues, the lack of stock on the website, shipping issues, some people weren't even receiving the orders that they had paid for. People on the subreddit were commenting that Outdoor Voices had lost the fun, spontaneous energy of their previous campaigns and the new advertising just had skinny cookie cutter models. They also felt that at the end of the day, the new designs just simply weren't cute anymore. The exercise dress had become cheap looking with ugly seams all over the place and being made in garish colors. Tyler Haney commented, oh no, this is bad. And the future is not bright for the OG exercise dress. She also commented on a pair of leggings that Outdoor Voices was advertising. The fabric is going the wrong direction on the front panel of those leggings. Text where it stretches with the lines horizontal. Yikes. So yeah, cheap, no attention to detail, which brings me back full circle to the hat that I'm wearing because I bought this hat in 2019. And as I mentioned at the start, I genuinely love this hat and I wear this hat a lot because it is the perfect hat for outdoor, for hashtag doing things, you know? It's a nice breathable material. I wear it for hikes and bushwalks and just taking my doggies for the walk. So I wear it a lot and it's held up well over five years. Now let's compare it to this hat that I found somebody is selling on Poshmark. The exact same hat, just with pink writing instead of the navy writing. I don't know when this person purchased their hat, but I can just tell even looking at the photo, I can see the decline in quality. It's completely see-through. Also, obviously no hate to this Poshmark person. I really hope that you can sell your hat. I just think that it's a really good visual representation of the decline in quality of Outdoor Voices, not the Poshmark seller. <laughs> it was when I saw this foul Disney collaboration that I knew that something was up with Outdoor Voices. I hadn't actually been on the OV website for a couple of years at this point, and this Disney collaboration popped up on my TikTok. I'm gonna admit, I was in shock with how ugly it is. And I love Disney as much as the next person. Like I was literally at Disneyland last month. I love that shit, okay? But this is truly heinous. <laughs> okay, if they wanted to do a Disney collaboration, they could have done it with some kind of taste level. You know what I mean? Like if I was in the office and like Disney really wants to do a collaboration, cool, let's do like a Disney princess thing and we can do a matching bra and can do like color block of like emerald green and frog green. This Disney collaboration is just everything against what Outdoor Voices was supposed to be. It's supposed to be this understated, cool girl activewear brand. And this is just so commercial and garish. Late last year, Outdoor Voices started to close some of its store locations and the website became extremely sparse. Like only a few items in each section and most of the sizes were sold out. Then on March 15th, 2024 this year, they announced that they were closing all 15 of their stores and selling exclusively online. All retail employees were laid off, only notified of their firing via a Slack message. According to an internal message that was leaked, the majority of the Austin-based activewear labels corporate staff was fired, which left about 10 people on board, mostly working on the operations side. As of filming this video, they are reportedly on the verge of bankruptcy. Basically, it took five years, 2013 to 19-ish, for them to reach their peak, and then five years to slowly decline, and now I feel like they're whimpering and like, this is like the last link, they're like, Ty Haney now has two new startups, Joggy 
a CBD infused energy drink and try your best or TYB, which I'm read many an article trying to exactly figure out what this is. As far as I can tell, this is some kind of consumer loyalty influencer branding platform. I don't know, but she's got funding for it. So I, the thing about Tyler Haney is she's obviously quite a charismatic person. What will happen to outdoor voices? The only future that I could see for outdoor voices is kind of like a Topshop situation where ASOS bought the name of Topshop and now stocks top shop on the ASOS website and also in Nordstrom. It could be a similar thing where you could go to like a department store like Nordstrom and there's the, the outdoor voices section. I think it's a shame that outdoor voices didn't work out. I'm still gonna wear my outdoor voices hat. It's probably heading into chuggy territory but that's okay because like functionally, it's probably the best hat I've ever bought. <laughs> Rip outdoor voices. If you did enjoy today's video, please remember to give it a like and also feel free to subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.